Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DVR. Today we will play one of the most uh, famous games. This, these days we will play Hogwarts Legacy in Virtual Reality with a VR headset. This is possible via a mod by Luke Ross. All links in the description and I will show you some scenes and how to install that. Thank you to my sponsors, Volkos VR, Opperman Events, Virtual Escape, Slim Beats and Aeroflight FS Flight Simulator. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! Okay guys, and before we can play the game in VR, of course we have to install the mod. So what you're gonna do is you have to subscribe to Patreon of Luke uh, Ross. You will find the link in the description below and then he will send you the files for this mod. So before you do that, um, before you do anything, you have to buy Hogwarts Legacy of course on Steam and then you have to install that, perhaps start it one time and then very very important go to properties and then select uh, do not use VR cinema mode when Steam VR is active. So uncheck this. Do not, this is wrong, this is right, okay? Then go inside your Hogwarts Legacy Oh wait, just open the files that Luke Ross sent you. These are, these are these three files. Could perhaps be uh, some other files if you uh, watch this video later. Uh, I recorded this video on February 12, 2023. Perhaps there will be another version later, a better version. I'm pretty sure there will be a better version. However, you will copy these three files. Copy it. Yeah, okay. And then go to your Hogwarts Legacy folder. You can go there by right clicking here, then here and then find local files. And then you are here. Wait, not, not yet there, but I'm pretty sure you will land like here or something. And then you go inside Phoenix binaries, Windows 64 and then here paste. I Of course I already have these files so I have to um, overwrite them. You, this message shouldn't appear there for you. And yeah, that's it. That's what you're gonna do. And then you will have to start Steam VR, of course. Um, make sure everything is fine. Everything is. You see the 3D environment of Steam. Or if you go via uh, Oculus Link, uh, open the uh, Oculus software, connect the Quest 2 via Air Link or cable or whatever, and make sure Steam VR is started and you see the 3D environment. After that run Hogwarts Legacy. There will be a message, uh, it's not compatible with Steam, just click on OK. And then it, it should start on Steam. He's generating some shaders every time, so be patient. And after that you will be able to play the game in virtual reality. And how this looks, I will show you now. Okay guys, welcome to the game. And this is something I think really many Harry Potter fans want to experience. You can see that everything in virtual reality. Look at this, it's, it's reacting on my head movement. And not only that, I can see everything in 3D, full 3D, even uh, with, uh, look at this, I can, I can go around these people. It has full room scale and all that stuff. I, th these people are standing in uh, 3D in front of me. It's, it's just so crazy. Look at this here. Hogsmeade Post Office. Look at this. Is, isn't that just crazy? This is Honeydukes. This is Honeydukes. We can even go inside there. Look at this. I mean, I see all that candy stuff here. In, in virtual reality, in 3D. I can even... I mean, I can also play the whole game. It's not uh, impossible. For example, I can do like Akio. See that? Lumos, or like this. Isn't that crazy? Uh, I, I can even go in, inside the menu and, and do some stuff here, like uh, check out my uh, quests. The map is a little bit tricky because it shows here something in 3D and we have to check it out here with some 2D models. Uh, but uh, all in all, it is possible to play it, even though it's, it's a very, very early version of this mod. Luke Ross told me that I should tell it to you. This is a really early mod and it, even though it's, it's just great. I mean, 
we, we can play that in, in virtual reality. But guys, I, I have really have to tell you, you need a strong PC for that. I mean, you see that in the video, um, sometimes it's a little bit stuttering and stuff. All in all, it's okay. But uh, it's it's still stuttering a little bit sometimes here. And I have an, an 10,900K CPU. Look at this. The, in the background is, is, is Hogwarts. It's just crazy to, to see that. In, I mean, this, this wall here, everything is standing, is here in, in 3D. Full room scale and stuff. It's, it's just crazy, amazing. You, you should really do that. I, and I mean, I, I played with the uh, most affordable headset, I would say. Uh, one of the most affordable headsets, the Quest 2. You can also play it with Pico 4. You can also play it with Pimax, whatever. Whatever you want. Valve Index, it just works. Look at this. I mean, crazy. So, guys, if you want to, to uh, check it out for yourself, you have to subscribe to Luke Ross Patreon. I will put it in the description below. If you just want to support him one month, you can do that and then cancel the subscription if you like. But, uh, yeah, you need the files, of course, otherwise it won't work. And please check out uh, that this is an early version. Perhaps later there will be more support, perhaps for, for the VR controllers or even first person. I have no idea. We will see that. But all in all, this is just so amazing. Guys, you can also uh, play around with the resolutions and, and all that stuff. I will put all the um, hints, what you have to uh, yeah, change inside the uh, menu. In, in the description below. So guys, if you want to support me, that would be cool. Check out the first pinned comment um, to, to support me via Patreon and get some bonus <laughs> or support me for free. You can find all that stuff in the first pinned comment. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya!